Bricktopian! Hello, it's Bricktopian here, and today I will be doing an unboxing for the Lego Icons Tranquil Garden set. This is a botanical set, but it is very much mini thick scale, believe it or not. It's an 18 plus set, it's set number 10315, it has 1363 pieces, and it costs about £95 in the UK. I think this set will be amazing and probably one of my favourites of the year, although once I build it I will know for sure. It does not include any minifigures though, despite being minifig scale, but it does look really good. The bridge is a bit small for a minifig, but overall I love the design, and you can actually rearrange the trees, which is also really cool. On the back of the box you can see there's the dimensions up here, which shows that it's 32 centimetres wide by 21 centimetres tall. Here you can also see all of the um, plants that I said that can be removed and rearranged and there how it, you can place them or put them back. And then this is the little temple which is a removable top section so you can see the interior with the little table, the little uh, bowls and also where you can place a minifigure. My favourite part of this entire set is probably over the bridge or the cherry blossom trees. I would say probably the bridge because I'm just really into bridges at the moment. You do get koi fish in this one, but they are different printed pieces to the ones that came in the Spring Mountain Festival set, as I don't believe that they do those pieces now. On the side of the box, there's not really a lot you can see. There's just a um, there's just like another look at the side of the temple bit, and you can see it uses these pieces, which are actually um, the pieces from the Mario sets used for like platforms that Mario can stand on. They're sort of used a lot in those Mario sets, and it's nice that they've used them here for something different as like little stone work to step up to the temple. There's not a lot else you need to see on the outside of the box. Well, there's the top of the box there, which shows it from a plan view or top view of the set. You get a nice look at those lily pads there, which are used in sort of purple. They use the purple eggshell pieces. I don't think they've used them in that colour before. And you can see the little um stone stone stepping stones there using those modified one by twos with like the cut out bit on and there's the one to one scale of one of the stone ornamental pieces to give you an idea of the set size overall but anyway let's have a look inside the set i believe this has about 12 bags or something but i'm not entirely sure anyway let's have a look the box uses the thumb push opening points so it doesn't require you to cut any tape or anything. Well that was quite a good guess for how many numbered bags there are. Because I was right, there are 11 numbered bags. But there is only one number per... No, one numbered step per, for each bag. So instead of there being like two ones or three twos or whatever there is only one of each so there's one and one one two one three like that and i'm glad they've been doing that in more sets recently it makes it so much easier when sorting out the parts you also get one unnumbered bag though which just has gray plate in that's used for the base of it which is always nice to keep the big plates separate so they don't get too mixed in and don't make it awkward looking through certain parts but yeah it's basically 12 bags but 11 numbered ones It looks like that you build the temple first, which I don't know how I feel about that because that's one of my favourite parts. But I don't know if it's a good thing you do that first so that it's already done, or if it would have been better if they left it till later. I can see there's actually a tan coloured whisk piece in there, which I don't think they've done it in that colour before, I don't think. I could be wrong, but it's cool to get that piece. Bag 10 has quite a lot of the uh, um, cherry blossom elements in there, like with the pink flowers and stuff and the white leaves. It doesn't look to have any pink frogs though, unlike the bonsai tree set they did, which is, I don't know if that's good or bad, probably bad because I do like the pink frog usage, but I can see what they're going for, and with the style of the tree being different in this one, it kind of makes sense. Bag 7 appears to be mostly the frame of the uh, pot, because it's all black in there, apart from a couple of dark green pieces. And bag uh, 9 showcases their Mario picture I say about in the light grey. Bag 11 is pretty cool with nice green leaves and stuff. But anyway, there's a look at the bags in the set. And then you get the instruction manual. 
For this set, you only get one instruction manual, and it comes on the plain white background, which isn't very interesting, but it does showcase the details and colours of how colourful this set is very well. You don't actually get any stickers, which is pretty nice, because a lot of sets do have stickers, although I don't think it was needed for this set anyway. But yeah, it's nice that all the koi fish, of course, are prints, and you can see a nice look at some photos of lifestyle photos there as well, which look really cool. And there's about the designer, I believe. That's about, yeah, that's from like a quote from the designer, which is always nice to see. But yeah, this isn't an idea set though. That intro makes it feel like it is, but no, it's not. It's icons. And there's the steps of the bags of what you do. So bag one and two is the top half of the temp is the temple top half there. Bag three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are it's doing the main base and everything and the bridge and all the all the land base of it. And then bag ten and eleven is doing adding the trees on and stuff. So yeah, there's quite a good way to do it really and you get a on your brick separator as quite often you do in these sets and there's the parts so there's quite a few interesting parts in this which are always nice to see especially the green you get quite a lot of green and stuff it's always good to see and there's the finished product but yeah i think this is a great set and i think it'll be really fun to do and i hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video uh, see you again in the next one. Goodbye.